I keep hearing Theresa May say Brexit means Brexit. I'm not sure they're saying anything more than that. And it's fine for them to say we're going to take it out, but they have a parliament that says, well, I don't want to leave without an agreement. Uh, are, are we, is there any hope of progress here? In a strange way, this, this all makes me want to buy UK equities. Okay, so let, let me uh, yeah. tell you why. Uh, first is that if it is, in fact, a higher probability of hard Brexit, you know, you're going to get the currency response, and that's actually a good thing for, for UK equities just because 70 or 80 percent of the revenues are from overseas. It's a defensive market if you're worried about what else is going on in the world. Uh, it's, a, it's a widely underheld market, and so technical factor, I mean, it's, it's just hated, right? Uh, and it has been for, for a while now. And so I think, uh, you know, it actually stands to benefit uh, if the economy is resilient enough to, to what could be a fairly large shock here. Well, we did just get wages coming in. They're pretty yeah. strong then from February to April. Would you agree? Katerina? I would agree. I think that um, counterintuitively, you know, as we all are hoping for the positive resolution for the U UK and, uh, you know, for them having a deal, if they were to exit uh, European Union without a deal, that might be positive just from the perspective of a certainty. Finally, we're going to get some certainty of, of what's going on and it will be positive uh, for the pound and overall for the U uh, for the European market. Well, is that right, Ben? Were we too afraid of so-called hard Brexit? I mean, are you better off with a hard Brexit? At least you know what's going on. On. It depends, I think, uh, what, what perspective you're looking at. I think from, from the long-term potential growth rate of the, of, of the economy, I think that those are things that rely on total factor productivity, capital deepening, uh, you know, uh, workers getting more skill, et cetera. These are things that require long-term investment. And so from the perspective of long-term potential growth, I think this is actually quite, quite corrosive the longer it goes on. Uh, from the, in a near-term perspective, I'm not sure it matters that much.